everyone what's up welcome back to my channel today i wanted to share with you guys how i make cauliflower mac and cheese trust me it's very easy and you're going to love it all you need is just few easy to get ingredients and you're all set to go but make sure to stay till the end of this video because i'm going to share with you guys one fact about this recipe that you are not going to believe it before we actually begin i would like to first of all thank you all for being here with me today and if you like this video please hit the like button also please do subscribe to my channel let's get on to the video ingredients you will need Sometimes we're not ourselves There's no one I can turn to First of all, you're going to preheat your oven to 375 degree. So while your oven is preheating, we're going to start cutting our cauliflower into floret because we're going to steam it or boil it. After you're done cutting your cauliflower, you want to clean it thoroughly and then place it in a deep pot and boil it for 5 to 10 minutes or until they are crisp tender. After your cauliflower is done, you are going to drain it and place it in a baking dish and set it aside. Now in a skillet over medium high heat, you are going to add 1 cup of heavy whipping cream and then bring it to low simmering boil. Add your garlic powder, onion powder and salt and pepper to taste. Now you're going to add your 3 oz of cream cheese and you're going to stir it until it's smooth and completely incorporated. Now stir in 1 cup of cheddar cheese and sprinkle in 1 cup of mozzarella cheese. Stir the cheese sauce until it thickens and is smooth. Now that your sauce is blended well, you are going to pour the cheese sauce over the top of the cauliflower in the baking dish. Stir to coat the cauliflower very well. And you can also add in some more salt and pepper if you want. And finally, you are going to sprinkle your parmesan cheese on top of the cauliflower and it is ready to go in the oven. Bake the cauliflower for 15 to 20 minutes or until the mixture is browned on top and bubbly. So, are you hungry now? This is a super easy and delicious recipe that will not make you miss your store-bought mac and cheese. You will want this healthy option instead that in fact tastes amazing. Okay now, that one fact I wanted to share with you guys about cauliflower mac and cheese is that it is a low carb dish. I know, hard to believe it, right? Anyway, now that I showed you how to make it and told you an amazing fact about it, why don't you go give it a try 
and if you do make this dish please let me know in the comment below i would love to hear how it turned out and if you liked it or not talking about likes please make sure to hit the like button if you thought it was worth watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do thank you so much for being here with me today bye and see you all in the next video